Hello and a warm welcome back to the Energy Connect studio. I'm Rebecca McLaughlin Easton and I'm delighted to say that my next guest is Alex Yuan of Wieson. It's great to see you, Alex. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Tell me, we're on the ground at Gasto. What is the most important message that you want to deliver this year and what new technologies are you showcasing on the ground? Well, this year in GasTech, our theme is uh, navigating a sustainable uh, future. Uh, so we, we do believe NG is a very important, uh, important part of the uh, uh, energy supply for our, life, for our life in the future. It's not only a transitional view, uh, but also I, we believe it's, uh, it will be continuing to be a part of the uh, uh, energy supply to the whole, whole world. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you can see we have uh, bring many designs of FNG into this uh, gas tag. So, uh, on top of our standardized FNG, uh, 2.4 million ton and 3.6 million ton, we have a, uh, we have a new design uh, up to 6 million ton. And also, our technical offer has expanded uh, from gas turbine driven compressor to electric driven. So all this uh, making the FNG uh, uh, more suitable for different kinds of market needs. Mm -hmm. So more FNG designs and uh, offerings uh, are the flagship uh, we are, uh, product we are bringing to this uh, gas tank. So we are also uh, showcasing a, a concept which is uh, floating ammonia. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is also part of the green energy transition effort we made uh, in Wisin. So uh, this product can help utilizing the wind power or solar power and trans, uh, tran transfer them into uh, ammonia. And uh, then ammonia can be supplied to uh, other parts of the world. Collaboration is such an important part of Gastec every single year. And you, Wisin have moved away from your strictly made in China strategy, if we can call it that, to a much more uh, globalized approach. Uh, how is it going on the ground and what meetings have you had strategically to align you with the new goals? Mm. Well, uh, Wisin started as a construction company. We have yards in China, so we do construction work for other companies. Uh, but now we are more and more into EPC kind of job. Uh, and by doing EPC for big projects like FNG, uh, we have to utilize uh, all the resources, not only in China, but also uh, globally. So uh, for the Anguilla project, for instance, uh, we are cooperating with uh, big uh, industry supplies such as Big Hughes, Chart, so they are a very integral part of our solution. So uh, this is uh, allow us to utilize the uh, most advanced technology in the world uh, and working together with them uh, and make the offer, uh, make the offer part of a, a Chinese solution based on the global supply chain. And the roadmap for 2026 looks good for more partnerships and collaborations, does it? Yes, so for partners, uh, okay, uh, we, I'd like to start with uh, our clients. So uh, I think now we have uh, demonstrated that Wisin can provide reliable EPC solutions to the, to the industry. Uh, we are talking to the oil majors at the moment. So uh, more and more uh, people, uh, they are interested about our offer. Uh, such as, okay, we're talking about the uh, uh, Argentina project with YPF, uh, with, uh, with Any, with Shell, and with Total, you know, all these oil majors, uh, and also Petronas. So hopefully we will expand our service to all these uh, major clients. Then for uh, industrial partners, uh, other than BQQ's chart, uh, we also expanded our uh, cooperation with Siemens, yeah, with uh, with uh, with other uh, key suppliers, uh, and outside the uh, outside FNG, we also develop our uh, relationship with uh, important companies like H Carrier, who is developing uh, power to X products like floating ammonia. You mentioned the Anguilla project uh, yeah. successfully delivered, um, big ceremony very yeah. recently, less than 10 days ago. Talk to me about the, the major milestones there, but also the challenges involved. Mm. 
Yeah, this is a very important project for Wisden. Uh, actually, three, three years ago, also in Milan, Castag, uh, Ian and I uh, awarded this project to Wisden. And three years later, we have already achieved a very important milestone, which is sail away. So within, within uh, 33 months after contract signing, uh, we delivered this 2.4 million ton FNG. I think we set a new kind of like a record for the industry. Uh, so that's indeed a very big achievement uh, with, with the support of our uh, client, ENI. Uh, of course, this is, uh, this is a, a world-class project uh, full of challenges. Uh, so starting as a construction company, we have to deal with all difficulties you can imagine uh, in terms of engineering and procurement and uh, make the project delivered on time, uh, even, even a little bit ahead of schedule. So uh, a lot of stories, but I would say, okay, we made it. Alex, finally, tell me, how are you driving decarbonization across FPSO, that's your floating production, storage and offloading units, and FLNG? Yeah, uh, decarbonization is an important uh, factor now in any projects. Uh, for everybody is paying attention to it. So for all the new projects, we take this factor uh, uh, very importantly. Uh, so uh, we are using uh, more technologies to lower down the emission of uh, CO2. That's including the CCDT, so combined cycle uh, gas turbine, uh, heat recovery, you know, uh, and and uh, uh, inlet chilling. So uh, by all these means, we uh, we can reduce the emission of CO2. For IPSOs, we also considering uh, CO2 uh, capturing. Uh, so CCU uh, technology can be used here. So com a combination of all these efforts uh, will make, uh, make our product uh, greener. Well, we wish you every continued uh, success and Gastec is clearly a very lucky place for you to be. So great to see you here again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap of this episode, but join me for more conversations from the Energy Connect studio here on the ground at Gastec 2025. I'll see you then.